The views expressed in Making Lemonade are not those of our sponsors. Welcome! Fabes Entertainment now presents Making Lemonade. Fabes Entertainment, your place for spiritual fun. Lemonade, making lemonade from deception to abuse to any other word you can use to define family drama. You can compare it to a guava. Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's sour. Sometimes family horror is like an earthquake, cause the hearts break. There will always be a difference in opinions. Making lemonade. Making lemonade There's more to the story too Only God can bring me through it When we're making lemonade Making lemonade Another episode we have for you Make me stop and just get you to it Previously, Making Lemonade My God, Janet There is someone from your past I am seeing someone from your past who will return. You serve in my church, in a, in a lead role. Oh, oh, how that sound to you? Yes, man, that sounds like a plan. And you, Petrona, you will manage the finances. This man up to something man, it's not good. He couldn't even look at me when he talking. Talk about this lady as well, it's nervous. A sense of counteraction. See my enough to invite her and fix her a wonderful meal. Because he's a pastor. Well, Dave, I don't know what you're talking about, but me not take my money. I need to leave tomorrow after church. God will provide. I got a call about two weeks ago that my cousin was taken here due to an accident. And who is your cousin, sir? Kingsley Sharp. My daughter, I saw him and another man. I carry what look like a dead body in the house. No children should come in the world and get that, that place. No worry, man. Everything so makes sense. <laughs> Person knows best. I just feel this sadness in my belly, Patam. This man may hear some of deal with him no more. He look like he's ready for dead, you know. No worry yourself, daddy. I have been pointing him in the wrong direction. But it's still puzzling to me how everybody, including pastor in a black, but me in a white. What do you think happening? Listen, Deacon, my love, you have nothing to worry about. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. We'll go through the church and then we die. Instead of resting in peace, it is pieces. You, my brother. We'll make a sacrifice today. Calling with bad news. The patient, Kingsley, he is dead. What? You will temporarily end your life, and after three days, you will return to us. Shout an amen, church. Make it lemonade. been a week four days ago deacon should arise from the dead and i'll know nothing anybody has start to stink in the church we had to just burn it oh god but well, dry your tears petrona dry your tears all right dry your tears pastor carson knows best he's our ultimate one sent from god above and i am sure he knows best so for the little children to come unto me for this world is evil and you will be made light it's been one week since i moved out of dave and simone's house and settled with pastor carson and how happy i've been i finally feel like there is purpose in life for me temporarily taking care of these children 
I'm a love pastor Carson food to you see <laughs> and in case you're wondering who is talking yes it's me Janet <laughs> but Vira is back too <laughs> Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not. I can't understand this. From Dr. Dixon called and said that Kingsley died. I can't get a hold on her. She hasn't been to work since. I wonder if she have anything to do with his death, and is worried she might be in trouble because I really thought Ah, my God. Yes, man. <laughs> Everything now working in my favor, princess. Let's brace for a dreadful end. Hey, <laughs> yes, daddy. We cannot believe we are here. Just a little longer and our revenge is final. Yes, my princess. <laughs> and as we speak, Jessica should be joining us for dinner later on. Somehow I was able to convince her to join me. Now that Vira is with me. <laughs> <laughs> Brainwashing them people here come so easy, daddy. And with all 20 attendees from church going through the communities to kidnap the children to bring to you. You won't get in no trouble. It's sweet, me daddy. Listen, I went through too much as a child. Up to the day them kill your mother. And it is my duty to ensure that no other child experience that kind of life. The aim is to take them out before they are treated the same. Then all these so-called doctors will know exactly what it feels like. <laughs> Mercy don't know. You just need to take care of your therapist now, Daddy, because I hear from good source that he's here in Jamaica. <laughs> All right, my princess. Don't worry yourself. A time to get rid of him. Oh, boy, Mommy. I still can't believe all now. Then Kingsley really gone, Mommy? My daughter, fret not thyself. Everything will be okay. Sometimes it's the choice we make in life. What I want you to do now is just to really focus on the wedding coming up with your to be husband. Yeah, man, mommy, but. Oh boy, this is hard. This is hard. And then we can't believe him. Cousin Jason don't even. He not even want to have a funeral for him, mommy. All he wants to do is to cremate the body. What? Jessica, you need to tell him you need closure. So you're begging him to let you have a little funeral. Mommy, that is exactly what I told him. But he said he knows what is best. Saying that this is exactly what Kingsley would have wanted. So I don't know what to do. Me daughter, me feel your pain. Cause I did your sweetheart years ago. But listen, if that's what Jason say, let's leave it at that. Try up your tears and keep planning you and Pastor Carl wedding. Alright? Oh boy, mommy. This is just too hard for me right now. On another note though, remember to keep an eye out, you know, because... I am meeting up with Carson for dinner later. Please be careful, Jessica. Me no want nothing to happen to you, you know. Please. Come on, mommy. You know this is the only way I'm going to find out what is happening. Just be on your alert to call the police if anything. God have me back. Oh, is my wife, Doc? She is in a much better place. In another few days, I hope she can reach the mark I would like her to reach mentally. That sounds like she's not there, then, Dr. Lee. Mr. Dave, please trust the process and trust me. 
she will be okay she's in a good place because i am staying here with you both i get to invest more time in her i am telling you you have nothing to worry about <laughs> all right doctor man are you a therapist you know and i am believing god hallelujah i'm believing that god is going to use you to bring my wife back to full mental state yes surely tell me something though mr moses i know this is a long stretch but have you ever heard of carson green well Carson. No, you know, that name doesn't sound familiar. Who, who is he? Let's just say he is a man that I have to find ASAP before he starts doing things that he is not supposed to. He is a patient of mine. That no sound, that no sound good, that no sound good, Dr. Lee. I tell you, it certainly isn't. I came here with the hopes of finding him too. I just hope he comes to sense sooner than later. And his daughter, Lawyer Green, seems to be suffering too. Oh gosh. Lawyer Green? That name is familiar. That lady, she lives about 15 to 20 minutes away from here. She was representing a church brother of mine some time ago. Kingsley. May he rest in peace. I hope. I can't believe it, Star. We can't believe that the man just him waste away him life like that man. He was a promising friend, you know. A promising man of God. Only hope he make it in. <sighs> Girl, you know I had to come by to see you. I miss you, see? <laughs> How is the treatment coming along, hon? Sis, I am doing so much better. This therapist is the best. I am truly starting to feel like myself again. Girl, the other day I even started talking about adoption. <laughs> That's how far I have come. Wow! Girl, I am so happy for the both of you. And I am so proud of the steps that you've made. Just remember I am always here for you, you know. Anything you need. And when I say anything, I mean anything at all, Simone. Just let me know. Yes, sis. I promise to always talk to you so you can know how I'm doing here, all right? And I am so sorry about the whole thing with Janet. I can't believe she would do something like that, though. She did change. You couldn't have known that she would have done that, Jess. You were just being a good human being. But you know, though, Simone, I really think she's in trouble, though, you know? I am so concerned and afraid she gone back to the old ways. Why? <sighs> she living with this wolf beside me. And oh gosh, Simone, me now I'm really, really concerned about this. I will try and reach out to her because when I see her, and when I get a chance to look in her eyes, girl, it's quite obvious she's crying out for help, you know. She's crying out for help without voice, Simone. If only I could help her. Sister Agatha, how are you? What a powerful pastor we have, do I? Yes, my sister. I'm anointed man. I've been looking for a church like this for years. You see how he make Minister Robinson take him own life? And guess what? Even though he never returned to it yet, he still know what he's doing. Can I tell you? Me feel it, you know? Cause me think we did not go get married. But me know him gone to a better place. Yes, so true. What a blessing he is. Me go home after church and find myself saying, Suffer the little children to come unto me. And I felt this anger within. And the next day, me just take me to a picnic them and carry it to him. Yes, my sister. That's the best thing. I saw a little girl three days ago too. And I heard the same words. The power of God really a work. And I convinced her to come with me. And I carried her to him myself too. Hallelujah. He has the right place for them. He's doing a new thing. And eyes haven't seen it. Nor ears heard it. But all will be well. Glory. Amen, my sister. 
Amen. You never carry your tides last week. You can't give me no. Be serious. What the little money do? Where them? Let me see if we can find it. Jessica, thank you for coming. You're such a blessed lady. You know, I've been meaning to invite you over for a long time coming. But nothing happens before time, right? <laughs> Certainly, Pastor Carson. I've been hearing a lot of people talking about your food. And I must say that... <laughs> yes, yes. M my food tends to speak for me, you know. I'm almost through with the meal, though. You know, Vira, I, I mean, Janet. You can have a little talk with her until I'm finished. All right, not a problem. Take your time. Hi, Janet. How are you doing? Oh, wow, I have never been better. Can you imagine? Carson has never yet approached me in any way with us being in the same house. Isn't he truly a man of God? Oh, really? Wow. Tell me more. What does he do mostly? Well, he's always in his private room talking to his dead wife, he says. I thought it was a bit weird, but now I'm going to question him. I guess this is how he deals with grief. Um, that is weird. But Janet, you're sure this is the best decision for you though? Have you gone back to being Vera? No, Jessica, I'm not going back. Good, don't <laughs> tell her. <laughs> Just pray for me. There's this sadness that I feel down in my belly bottom. More time. But outside of that, I'm at my very best. We will need to talk more in a Janet. Because me cannot believe you would have really steal from D of their money. Remember them put it up in it in me, you know? Jessica, you too? You do not hear me say I know me do it. Then it's who would I do it, Janet? You know a psycho. If you don't have no proof, Everybody other think is you. Remember, I just you and Dave alone in the house. So who, who would have steal All it? Alright, Jessica. I am done the talking. Go and enjoy your meal. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Janet. Just, just wait now, Janet. Just wait now. No, I am leaving. I'm really wondering if Carson could have really be so wicked. If everyone so convinced the money was there, maybe I need to confront Carson about it. Jan was star. Look we're going with Kingsley. A terrible situation, surely. But I wonder if him arrest. Or him down a hell on a quest to see if him can relive him life solely for Christ. Thank God for the jail evangelist. Be sure you get the gist. I am convicted from behind the rail in a jail. But me I worry about the future generation. Because with them psychotic mania in a this God given creation, me have to wonder how our life do them so. For them who are take out the children them so Janu stars and we don't even know if them are going to end up behind bars you know what make me put this on pause because you will hear say there is somewhere in the class where them not have a seeing mind what kind of practice this them say when you see these signs you have to look up but yo the system you seem like a set up and if you are here this, we need you to rise up. Because who are going to defend the innocent children who are becoming victims of the perilous even? <laughs> Dr. Lee. I need help! But think you have lost my mind! Please! Oh gosh! Help me. Carson! Thanks for calling! Where are you? I'm in Jamaica! Lot 403! Binda Avenue! Please hurry! Alright, don't worry. Try and stay calm. I will be there shortly. Y yes, Dr. Lee! <laughs> I'll try to be calm. Just hurry and come. And, and come alone, please! <laughs> 
I tell this man to leave me alone. But no time for you to meet your maker. Making lemonade, making lemonade from deception to abuse. To any other word you can use to defy family drama. You can compare it to a guava. Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's sour. Sometimes family horror is like an earthquake, cause the hearts break. There will always be a difference in opinions. Making lemonade, making lemonade. There's more to the story, too. Only God can bring me through it. When you're making lemonade, making lemonade. This is the entertainment. Your name is for